everyone, it's me, Sarah Singin, back with another video. Last week I did a Tarzan of the Ape review, uh, which went real well, actually, and it was completely different from most of the things that I post, and, oh, hello. Once again, this is Misty, who will be meowing a lot during the video. So yeah, people seem to really like that, and so my cousin, who did the bean challenge with me where we tasted disgusting jelly beans, in two weeks, and we'll be doing the same thing with A Wrinkle in Time, the book and the movie, because we've been reading it together, and we're gonna go watch it together. Hopefully you guys like that, but that's just like, oh, I'm doing a collab. Like, now I'm really professional and everything, so I'm pretty excited for it. You guys are too. This week, I didn't really have a specific topic in mind, and I was like, what could I talk about? And I was like, well, I could just, like, I'm pretty knowledgeable about me. You know, I'll probably just do that. My topic is some weird things about me that maybe are just specific to me, or other people do them too. Pretty sure that a lot of these are just me things. Um, and by weird, I don't mean like, oh, it's bad. It's just weird. So don't go in the comments and write, there's no such thing as weird because normal is not is relative and like, I know. I just, it's, being weird is not a bad thing, okay? So my first big one that I didn't even realize was weird for a really long time until I looked it up and it was like, it's a neurological thing that happens for just a very small percentage of people. And I feel like maybe I don't actually have it, but I just have something like it. So I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? And um, I just want you to think about this in your head. So when you think of the word Monday, what color pops into your head? Or does a color pop into your head? Because for me, somebody says the word Monday, and I'm like, I don't go, oh yeah, Monday's red, but Monday is red. Monday's red, Tuesday is green, Wednesday's white, Thursday's purple, Friday's black, Saturday and Sunday are brown. I thought that was a normal thing. I thought, first of all, I thought everybody just associated a color with the day of the week. And I thought everybody associated the same colors as me to the days of the week, because why wouldn't you? It's normal. And then I've asked like the three people, so I haven't done a lot of analysis on this the three people that I've asked about this have all said like what I don't do that that's kind of weird write in the comments if you do that okay because I th I don't know if I'm the only one out of all my subscribers I don't know if I'm the only one that does this thing and it's weird because I've confused like when I'm speaking sometimes I speak really fast like you guys will notice even here I speak really fast sometimes I'll confuse Thursday and I'll say November instead of saying Thursday because they're both purple in my mind and like it took like one time I said November and I meant, I'll see you Thursday, and I said, I'll see you November, and I was like, why would, I, why would I say November? And then I was like, well, they're both purple, and I was like, what? That shouldn't matter, like, I don't know. That's just a cool, I think that's kind of just a weird thing that, like, I've discovered about myself. I'm like, oh yeah, I guess that's just not something that everyone does. My second thing that I do, um, or that I'm doing, I'm in the process of doing, is I'm learning to write with my left hand. So I'm naturally right-handed, but if you take a piece of paper and I write with both my right hand and my left hand, the left hand is actually, like, almost neat than the right hand because my right hand I write really fast and my left hand I have to take a little bit more time and oftentimes neater I would say than my right hand so that's just kind of like a cool thing that I've discovered about myself is that I feel like I'm naturally like pretty decent with this hand at writing and then this is another one I feel like other people do this too um, but whenever I go on vacation like anywhere like we went to v Victoria totally just stuttered um, we went to Victoria like three years ago with my choir and so while we were there, I just went into a British accent, like on purpose. I didn't, I didn't like not know how to stop it, but we would go into stores and I would just stop talking like this. So of course, if you're actually British, I'm sure I don't sound superbly British to anyone, but to people in the stores who weren't British, they're Canadian clearly, they were so freaked out. They thought it was so great. And they're like, oh, you're a British person, right? And it's really fun to actually like just do a British accent in a store. But this is something that I oftentimes will switch into um, if, I'm on, if I'm on vacation. It's it's just like a fun thing to do. So that's something that I think is kind of interesting to do. I think you guys should try it, by the way, because it's really fun and it makes people's day. If somebody directly asks me like, are you British? I just say like, no, it's just an accent that I'm putting on, but it makes people's day because people like that. They're like, dude, I just met a British person. It was so cool. My last thing that I'm going to talk about is something that I didn't even really notice that I do. Basically up until I started doing YouTube videos, which was like, not, not my earlier videos really, more like these videos and so that wasn't until like September I realized that only half of my upper lip 
can move. So I'm sure like if you guys go back to my older videos, now you're probably noticing it, but this lip goes up and this lip doesn't. And I didn't know that <laughs> for so long. Like I just was like, oh, that's just like, that's kind of cool. Like once I noticed it and I've tried, like, like I'll do this and this lip, like I can't really demonstrate it, but this lip, there's like a muscle there and it pulls it up and this lip, there's no muscle there or the muscle doesn't work. And then there's this guy on Heroes, if anyone's ever watched that show, and he's got like the same thing, but like worse because his whole like this side of his mouth doesn't work. And I'm like, twins! But yeah, those are like, I think I just said three things that are kind of interesting about me. Um, I think that's basically all that I have to offer you guys this week. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked the quirky facts, please comment your colors if you have colors, okay? Because I'm I'm interested to know what colors other people have for the days of the week and the months and all that. This is Sarah is singing, signing out. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.